you know, going through the preseason, how did you feel out there getting back on the field, you know, getting the summer rust off? Um, it was very exciting, you know, um, I think um, in the off season, you kind of you kind of anticipate it so much that it's like during the last week of summer workout, you're just like, you know, I'm ready to put the pads on now. So when it finally came, when it was finally time for that, it was very exciting. You can feel the energy from the guys, and I think that um, that maintained throughout camp. And um, I think, you know, even now, uh, I was walking on the field with Darius, and we just stared at the field, and it's like, you know, we only have five days left. So it's, it's, it's definitely exciting, and um, we're all enthused to get out there. So. With you coming back, getting experience last year, how much more of responsibility do you have now besides just your own game to be a leader out there on the field? Um, I definitely feel like my role has expanded, you know, as a leader. And, um, you know, I got to be a guy that's uh, not afraid to speak up, you know, um, when someone's doing wrong or encouraging them when they're doing right. And um, I got to, you know, understand that eyes are on me more than they were last year to, you know, do the right things on and off the field. So, you know, I'm definitely embracing that role and I'm trying to focus on being a good leader for these guys. How do you think your game has uh, changed or developed, you know, since last season? What have you worked on and, and have you really seen a payoff yet? Um, I think I've gotten a lot stronger. You know, I put on a little bit of weight and um, I've actually maintained it this time. You know, usually my weight was, you know, fluctuating. but. Um, I think that um, I'm not sure if it's if it's shown yet, but I think um, hopefully this year my, my tackling will improve. <laughs> you know, guys, uh, a lot of people talk about how Dex is a good tackler, and he is. And um, you know, I, I would like to have that reputation as well. And um, I think uh, also just my understanding of the game and um, this system. You know, coming back, I was fortunate enough to. We all were fortunate enough to keep the same defensive coordinator, and um, I think I understand it a lot more than I did last year. So that'll help you know, all of us be in better position to make plays this year. You talked about coming back in the same in the same defense under Coach Stewart. You know, he's your position coach too. He's worked in the NFL and has a lot of experience. You know, how has he helped you kind of develop as a player and um, and now that you have the defense down, what specific things are you kind of picking up on now that you aren't worrying about the whole scheme? Right. Um, first off, Coach Stewart, you know, he's a, he's a great guy, period. And, um, you know, he's very passionate about what he does and you can you know that kind of rubs off on us you know his energy that he brings to practice day in and day out um, but he does a good job of um, teaching the defensive backs you know knowing where your help is and that that makes our job a lot easier because you understand not only what you do but what the guy next to you does or you know someone like Matt Robinson who I play on the same side with you know where he's going on certain plays that will help me and put me in a better position so um, I think that's one thing that him coming to the same, uh, bringing the same system back helps us with because, you know, now it's not just focusing on what we do on a certain play. It's like what the guys around us are doing. And that, I think that makes the whole unit, you know, work more effectively. And I know you and Dex spent a lot of time together this off season. Uh, you said you guys went to Chipotle together, so maybe that's why you put some weight on. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and uh, and I know you wanted to work on your tackling, something he excels at. How, you know, how have you guys kind of helped each other grow on the field? Um, well, you know, it's, uh, he's been my friend first. You know, for I guess this would be the fourth year, and um, you know, just just knowing certain things that. Uh, you know, he likes to do in certain coverages and, so, and stuff like that. You know, um, he, he blitzes a little more than I do. So, you know, watching him, uh, certain techniques he uses when he blitzes, I try to put into my game as well. So, you know, even though both of us are uh, older, I think we still kind of learn from each other and things like that. And things that we see on the field, we always come back and talk to each other and, you know, may ask, how would you play this and stuff like that. And um, I think that's... Uh, us having more experience is definitely helping one another get better. So, And that off-field chemistry, you know, you guys hanging out, playing video games, whatever it is, you know, has that translated on the field at all? Um, no, I, I think, you know, we were already pretty close, so I don't, I, I can't think of, you know, any major, you know, differences in it, um, you know, helping us on the field. But um, I will say this, that um, since we've been, since we've been hanging out, you know, a lot more off the field, I think, um, you know, sometimes on the field we can just give each other a look and um, kind of know what each other is saying or, or, you know, what we should do, you know, on a certain place. So, you know. <laughs> and, um, you know, Dex is older, but a younger guy who's up and coming as well, likely, who made it into the two deep. What have you seen from him and, and how much has he improved since he got here in the spring? Man, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm so excited, you know, for Will this year. And um, I know that, you know, I don't know when exactly, but I know 
that he will be contributing to this defense, and I know he's going to make a lot of plays this season. But, um, you know, when he got here in the spring, um, you could just see that he was focused. You know, his mentality isn't like a lot of freshmen who come in and, and uh, you know, kind of like big-eyed. And, you know, he was very focused. He knew what he wanted to do. And, um, you know, he's a guy that doesn't go out a whole lot. You know, he's kind of in his playbook a lot and stuff like that. So, you know, as an older guy, I kind of admire that about him because I know when I first came in, I, you know, I wasn't like that. So, um, you know, he, he definitely he earned it and you know it's, I don't think it surprised anyone maybe you know people who weren't in you know in the locker room with us but um you know I don't think it surprised anyone on the team that he was in the two deep so and on the field what makes him so special what's it like playing with him um his quickness you know and um he's uh he picks up things very fast you know defensive calls and stuff like that and um being that uh Hopefully he'll, you know, be helping us a lot at the nickel position. You know, I think he's a good guy for that because a lot of teams use that receiver who's a little quicker and uh, put him inside on the slot and stuff like that. So um, I think that'll be a good fit for him. And I, like I said, you know, I know he's going to make plays this year. So. And, um, you know, looking forward to uh, FIU on Saturday. What are you expecting from them and how are you guys preparing? Um, first off, is, uh, we're expecting them to come in, you know, uh, with something to prove. You know, I, I know that they, you know, they're not afraid to play us and they're coming up here, you know, with a chip on their shoulder as well. And, um, you know, I'm just expecting, you know, to face a lot of, uh, I don't know, I think they're going to take some shots, you know, just me personally. Um, but we're prepared for that. You know, as far as their scheme and stuff, they have a new offensive coordinator, so it's been a little more difficult, you know, um, I guess get, getting prepared for them. But um, in the long run, we know that, as long as we execute what we do defensively, then we'll have a good chance. And you know, you've gone up against some good wide receivers in practice. How much does that help, and how much confidence does that give you, knowing any opponent you face? I mean, you've, you know, you're facing pretty much some of the top receivers in the country every day. Yeah, it, um, it helps tremendously. You know, these guys uh, they come to they come to work, you know, with their hard hat every day, and you know, ready to work. And I think um, we've been helping them get better as well. But um, you know, like you said, facing those guys every day is definitely going to pay off this season because you know not not every single team that we face is going to have you know good athletes like we have on offense and even uh, CJ at quarterback you know he's he's improved a lot as well you know uh, his ball placement and things like that so I think um, we're going against some of the best you know athletes in the country and uh, hopefully it pays off. And when you get to the field on Saturday do you have any pregame superstitions traditions that you like to do before you know you get on that field? Um, yeah, when we go out for our team stretch uh, before the entire unit goes out, um, I never wear my shoes. I always stretch in my socks. Um, I always kind of like to, I don't, I don't know why, but I like to get the, the feel of the turf and stuff on my feet. So um, that's one little thing I always do at each game. Home and away? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Grass, turf, whatever it is, I always wear my socks. And they always get dirty. Guys pick with me, but you know, it's just kind of like my thing. Now, do you change them before the game, your socks? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I, play, I play with my socks dirty, so yeah. <laughs> All right, that means you don't have to worry about getting dirty on the field, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. All right, thanks, Jeremiah, and good luck on Saturday. Thank you.